funeral parlour. Aren't we skirting a little close to a cliché here? The main consideration was that it should be like a funeral director's with um, the gentility and the dignity of that. And it had been a car showroom. And the exterior is delightful and works incredibly well for us. And I have to say my first feelings as I stood in there was, um, well, my heart fell out of my arse, to be quite frank. <laughs> because it was a big white box with two huge windows and nothing in it. I had to create the uh, architecture, the infrastructure, the shape of it, uh, before I even began to dress it as a funeral director's. We're making a sort of L shape here. Uh, with a corridor heading down towards that doorway. Uh, and as you can see, this panelling on this wall has already softened this big white wall hugely. Uh, we'll be painting above it. Uh, but what we've done is to link these bits of panelling together with uh, a bit of our own build. So this pillar here is actually holding the whole thing up. So what I've had to work out, or what we've had to work out, is like a sort of jigsaw puzzle, really. Uh, a jigsaw puzzle of uh, found pieces linked together by bits of our build. It'll feel like a completely different interior, and that's before we get to the dressing. So it's great that you're seeing it now at this stage, having seen it on the recce, uh, to see it just as we've started to piece together the panelling. Uh, and the next stage would be great for you to come back and to have a look as we're dressing the set. The reception area of the, of the funeral parlour was, was a challenge, just not from an architectural point of view. I mean, actually furnishing it, because of course we had to have a breakaway chair, and he hits one of the vampires with a breakaway chair. So we had to, we had to find a set of chairs that we could purchase, that we could send one down to um, a prop maker to have the breakaways made. Um, so that when I came to actually hire the furniture, I had to hire furniture that would sit with the chairs that we'd bought. Um, for the breakaway. This is a vampire feeding room. Um, so we've got a little bit of a sort of prep area here. Everyone's going to have kind of cannulas in their arms so they can uh, drain the blood off. We'll have them strapped to the chair as if that's part of the process. And then this is a bit kind of refugee like, really. Um, so just trying to get a sense looking up here that we've got a clear view through uh, that I don't put all the high stuff in front and I can't see behind. Um, and we'll make it up as we go along. Then. Herrick's office. Herrick's office was actually quite simple for us um, because the space was so good, um, full of atmosphere. So I didn't feel that I had to add too much to that. But we did, we was, we did wonder what to do with the space or how to um, use the space. So I decided to have a kind of large table, really, that was his empire. And we just let the rest of the room kind of go to being a garage, which is what it was, put a hearse or two in there. Um, and that was it, the job done.